welcome, welcome, welcome into AJ's Den. I didn't record Monday. Uh, reason why? Um, holiday. I totally got blasted on the holiday. Haven't did that in a while. I had a good time, had fun. Went to Wet Willies. Oh my God. It will be a while before I go to Wet Willies. But I had fun this holiday and I hope everyone had a great time. I just didn't record on Monday, but today is Wednesday. Everybody who's familiar with me, they know that I record Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So today is Wednesday and I just want to get right on into it. Um, I would like to talk about um, Chicago officers. They are, are doubling up on murder. That Not the officer, but the people in Chicago is doubling up. And the reason why is regarding the officers in Chicago. They really don't want to do their job. They want to remain to... They want to continue to do the things that they were doing. And they can't, they can't do that at all. So, they won't do... They won't do their job, so they, they're allowing things to happen. They, they're saying that if we can't continue to do what we used to do, then we're not going to stay at, we're not going to protect the citizens. But then you need to resign and you need not to collect your money. It's because we as citizens, as taxpayers, are paying you to do your job. So if you think that you can't, do your job without um, taking people to secret, a secret place and beat the crap out of them. If you think you can't um, just stereotype anyone in Chicago. If you think you can't racial motivate. Uh, you can't do any of these things. And you have to go around and do that. Then you don't need to be an officer. You need not to take a check from us as um, taxpayers. You need to quit your job. I, I have always been hard on officers. If you are wearing that uniform and you cannot do your job without stereotyping anyone, then get that uniform off your ass because I have had enough with you guys. You already think that you are above the law when you're wearing that uniform or having that badge on your shoulder or on your chest. I have had enough with you, officer. And it's not only officers of um, um, just in Chicago. I'm talking about officers around the world. I have had enough with you and your bull crap. You're propaganda. You want your way. So you're acting like little brats in Chicago. I'm not going to patrol. I'm not going to do this. Because I'm, I'm going to get videotaped and I might get sued. Do the right things. You wouldn't have to worry about getting sued. This is ridiculous. Stop wearing that damn uniform if you have to stereotype you have to arrest somebody and take them to a secret location and beat the crap out of them then you need to not use that uniform and you are really acting like an overseer this is no longer slavery here and if you think that we will go by that route you are sadly mistaken about these officer, the officer who actually pulled this young lady out in the um classroom through her found not guilty. What a surprise! Oh, I'm I'm so surprised about that. These officers, and it's showing in the DOJ, it's showing that they are above the law. It is showing that Obama. Y'all don't know that I love me some Obama. I love me some Obama. I even love uh, Rice, who is the general um, attorney. I love her. But at the end of the day, you're not doing your damn job. You're making it worse. Love you, but I have had enough of 
you're not doing your job. It's more crime out here. Nobody gets prosecuting these officers. You're showing these officers that they are above the law. They're not above the law. Stop thinking that they are. Stop letting them think that they are above the law. I have had enough of you guys thinking that you're above the law. Do your damn job. This makes no sense at all. People, if you don't wake up and you and you sitting around, a lot of Caucasians sitting around and saying, well, it's not happened to us. We we're a law abiding citizen. Guess what? I'm a law abiding citizen, but they'll pull my ass over quicker than you. Why? Because my skin, my skin color, my skin color. And plus, I'm a free male. So you can sit there and think, oh, it's not happened to me. So when they're finished doing things to African Americans or people of color, who you think they're going to start next? Because they got away with all the things what they're doing with um, us as people of color. Who you think they would, who you think they'll mess with next? Who you think? You better think about it. Who do you think they're going to mess with next? They're going to mess with you. So when you sit back and allow these things to occur, you're not in the one percenter. But then uh, President Johnson had it quick and had it easy and he said it real good. If you tell a white man a white woman that they are better than this educated black man, a black woman, you can pick their pockets and they wouldn't notice nothing. You Caucasians, middle class, poor Caucasians, go against your own benefit will help you. And the reason why you go against it is because it will benefit and it will help African Americans too. You think you're better than us. You're not better than us. The only thing that you have better than us is because your skin color. But you're still poor and you're not in the 1%. You think they give a damn about you? They don't care about you. They need your votes. And once they get their votes, do they go in your neighborhoods where you're located? No. They can care less about what you think and how you think. But you'll vote against your own benefits because it will help African Americans or people of color. Just like I had somebody get on here talking about <clears throat> talking about um the immigrants is taking away our jobs. They feed you this lies. The immigrants are not taking away your jobs. The immigrants are taking the jobs that you don't even want. So you decide, I'm going to vote against that. And I want a wall to be built. So let's imagine this wall to be built. Are you going to clean toilets? I know damn well I'm not. Are you going to... Well, I cut yard, my yard, but are you going to cut the yards? Are you going to be a maintenance worker? You're not going to do none of that. So you believe the hype or the propaganda, what they preach around here about African-Americans, immigrants. You believe all that hype. So believe it. But you're not going to do the jobs what these people do. So what you do is you vote against something that will help you. I'm talking to you Caucasians. You're you're poor. You you and we barely have middle class. But you will vote against that because you don't want it to benefit African Americans or immigrants. That was the crazy response that I have ever had. From anyone on my 
uh, speaker.com or on my periscope when they, they say, well, I'm voting for Trump because Trump going to build a wall for the immigrants. And the first thing I said, I tell you what, I'll pay you eight dollars an hour to clean my house. Guess what was the response? Nothing. They left. This is what I'm saying. You're talking about immigrants all day long. Guess what? You're immigrants. I'm an immigrant. This is not our country. This is not our country. Not at all. This is not our country at all. This is Native American. This is Native American. Until you get that in your head and start learning about history. Then you'll never be better off. That's why I say Lyndon Johnson. He said it clearly. And I'm going to repeat it again. I want you to get that in your head. I want you to get this in your head. It said. He said. If you get. An educated black man. And you tell a poor, uneducated white man or white woman that they are better than that black man or black woman who are educated. You can be picking their pocket and they do not realize it. And that is so true. Every time you turn around, you can look. Of a lot of poor Caucasians, especially in Kentucky, 96% of Caucasians are on welfare. It, I, it was made for Caucasians when the Great Depression was around. FDR made it for them. He made it for them. Roosevelt made it for them. It wasn't for us. We were still slaves. So, my ancestors were still slaves. So, at the end of the day, if nothing is going to benefit you, it's not going to help you, but it will help African Americans. Let me let me turn this around. If something that the DOJ or the government period um turn around and help you guys, Caucasians, or anybody, you will vote against it because it will help people of color. Stop that. Because if you think that one percent will do anything for you besides continue to take away from the middle class and make the whole system poor and rich, that's all they want is two classes. But you don't want to see that is because it's going it's going to benefit us people of color. You don't want to see that they're trying. They don't want a middle class. Hell, the middle class is dissolving. They want poor and rich so the poor can depend just how it was in slavery time. It was the poor that was doing their fields. It was the poor that was doing everything and the rich was sitting by eating. Great. Mm -hmm. But then again, you don't want to see, you don't want to help. You still want to vote against your own cause that will help you. I never could understand that. But then I do understand that. Because you will go against your own cause. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Now let's talk about Trump. I hope you guys saw this video when he finally went to an African American church. He was so uncomfortable. He was off ribbon. It going side to side. 
This guy did not want to be there, but he he knows now that if you really want to be elected as president, you're going to go to these churches whose mind is washed, who believe in that bull crap what they teach, they taught our ancestors. Because people know, if you have been listening to me, you know how I feel about religion. I am not an atheist, not at all. I believe in Jah, but I do not believe in the religion how they have used religion to keep the slaves the way they want them to be in slavery. You get what I'm saying? They have used the religion to keep the slaves under control. I don't believe in your religion. I do believe in the Most High, because if, if it wasn't for us, we if it wasn't for the Most High, it wouldn't. Nothing will exist. But mm-hmm. they go to, they go to these religion churches, and they tell these lies. Uh, what is her name? Uh, what is her name? Uh, she was with Trump. Uh, I forget her name. I really don't care too much about her anyway. Uh, Rosa, Rosa, whatever her name is. Um, she's African American and she's all with Trump. And I'm like, how much is he paying you? You know, they're getting paid just like, um, the doctor who was running for president. I, I, you see how much I care too much about them. Because I don't remember their name and I care less. Um, He's so stupid. He, was, he went on the um, show and said that Donald Trump promised him, promised him um, a certain position. Against the law. <laughs> That's why it's crazy that he really thought that he was going to get elected. That was crazy. That's against the law, dude. But he's the first black um, doc, African American doctor that did a heart transplant. I know his name. I just try to forget about it. Oh, Amarosa. I remember her name, Amarosa, was with him. And she was showing the program and stuff. I say, dear, 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 if that's not a typical African-American female that has been raped through century through time and following her overseer, her master, she just there. And Amarosa do not want to do a debate with me because I would tear her little ass up. Follow your master. Amorosa. It's crazy. African Americans, you follow. You don't have to do these things no more. You don't have to do it. You don't have to follow your master. There's no need to follow your master. Amorosa, you don't have to follow Trump. Trump trying to use the black vote so he can get these Caucasian women to um, vote for him. He could care less. He'll throw you on the side. But he goes into an African American church. African in America. Church. I need churches, man. It kills me. Now you're talking about old press. The members right there. Old press. Because they believe in a God that does not exist when it comes down to how these Caucasians use him. I believe in Jah. I believe in Jehovah. I don't believe in their God. I would never believe in that God because their God, they'll tell you their God saying, keep African Americans oppressed. Keep Africans oppressed. Keep um, people of color oppressed. So, no, I'm not going to believe in your type of God. That's why it kills me when they allow Trump white behind to come into the church. 
He's the most Satanist person you can ever think of. Because he's thinking he's above everyone. Hell, the man won't even put out his real true income, his taxes. Won't even put his taxes out. Reason why he won't put his taxes out? Because then you'll find out that he's not a billionaire. And he's a barely a millionaire. He want everybody to calculate all the business that he owns. What? Come on. Exactly. If people ever think that Trump care about them, you're sadly mistaken. Trump already made a deal with Russia. And people just like, no, he didn't. Oh, no. Trump is all for the United States. No, Trump is for Trump. Trump is for, hell, Trump, you can see how he talks about his kids. How he, how he talks about his wife. Trump had been married three times. And you really think we need a president up in there who have been married three times? He can't even control his own self by cheating. Trump is a snake and all his followers are snakes. They come out the Woodworth. They came out of that rock. Because Trump wanted to say what they want to say. And they didn't have the nerves to say it. Why would you want someone to come into office? And I'm going to always say this. Why would you want someone to come in office who filed bankruptcy four times? Actually, seven, but they only report four. Everybody have been, the little business person have been lost because of Trump. Little business person. Do you not know that Trump have lawsuits against the yin yang by African American people of color? Because of discrimination. That's why it took him so long. To go to an African American church. He's the most racist person you can ever know. But people want us to cheer and vote him in. And then he say. African Americans. What do you have to lose? Well we have to lose our freedom. We have to lose everything. You tell these propaganda, oh, if you walk down the street, you get killed. Well, where I live at, I live in a suburb with my own house that you say that I don't have my own house. And I'm going to continue to say this. I want people to know that. My car that I'm sitting in is paid for. I bought it brand new with no miles. I paid for it. I have three banking accounts with money in it. So you tell me that I'm I don't I'm walking down the street, I don't have a job. I make six figures. But you tell me these lies and you tell other people on the um on the station these lies. It's it's a lot of African Americans are living well. But you would go out to a ghetto and get some of these African Americans that are living in this ghetto. But you won't go out a little farther in that ghetto that you will see Caucasians living there as well. So you think you should tell them that too? How they're living? People... Believe the hype if you want to. Believe the propaganda that they're putting out there and saying that we are living this way. And we're robbing. We're killing. Well, guess what? I'm going to go this deep too. You go into a Caucasian neighborhood. They're killing as well. Just like they want to say we're geno- we're doing genocide. It's genocide everywhere. If you're living amongst each other, it's genocide. 
So stop saying that black on black crime. It's black on black crime. It's white on white crime. It's Asian on Asian crime. If you live amongst each other. So stop lying. And saying it's only crime against black on black. It's not. It's a lie. These lies need to be stopped. Jeez. They go around here and tell these lies. It's just ridiculous. This is the main reason why I have all this social media that I am broadcasting and letting you know. I am one African American. You see my darkness. Mm -hmm. See my darkness? And I damn sure don't have all that walking in the neighborhood getting killed. Oh, I'm poor. I'm not the one percenter, but I damn sure can get what I want. So all these lies that you're portraying Trump. And you wonder why Hillary is not saying anything. She don't have to. You doing well without her saying anything. <laughs> Give your hand Trump. <laughs> Hillary don't have to do nothing. She don't have to say nothing. You do it well. You do it well. I just had to come on here today. Everybody knows that I record Monday. I didn't record this Monday because it was a holiday. I went out. I had fun. I went to Wet Willies. I did all kinds of stuff. I met a young lady, but I'm not interested in this young lady at all. Not at all. Um, have to have goals. But I had to talk about Donald Trump. Um, you know, I'm always going to talk about ignorance. Um, his people is ignorant. Um, they know not what they do. No, I take that back. They do know what they do. They just, they just been hiding under that, um, under that, um, rock per se. And when he says, when he says something racist, they, they, they came out, they start sizzling. Then they really came out once that, once he really kept that racism up. When they think that, when Caucasians think that mm -hmm. they are a pure race, that's killing. That's a killing thought. <laughs> because guess what? You're not. I guess, I, I guarantee you, if you go back on your ancestry tree, you would find that you have some African in you thanks to your ancestors who was raping our ancestors so thanks to them you should thank them you're not pure no one in this world is pure stop thinking that you're pure you can have sex with a white woman or a white woman can have sex with a white man all day at the end of the day you're gonna always have African African blood in you you just became Caucasian. That's all. So stop thinking that you're pure. Stop going against your own needs. If you go against the needs of people of color, you're going against your own needs if you're poor. That makes no sense. If you're poor, you're going against your own needs. Simple as that. So it's time for me to go to work. And you guys have a great day.